Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make an accessory giver. I honestly, like, it was crazy to me. Someone suggested this to me, so shout out to them. I honestly didn't even realize that I didn't make an accessory giver. Like, I've made an accessory command, an accessory remover, but I didn't even realize I'd be an accessory giver. Like, I didn't realize I didn't make that. But yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, so let me go ahead and insert a part, right? I'm going to, of course, make sure it's anchored. Y'all could call this part giver, I guess. <clears throat> They can insert a number value into it. Then you call this number value uh, asset ID. Oh, sorry, asset ID, right? And then set the value to whatever your accessory ID is, right? Here's my ID. You have to test it with this ID if you don't have an ID to test with. But yeah, here's my asset ID, right? Then I'm going to insert a click detector. Then I'm going to insert a server script into a set click detector. And then I'm going to rename the script to give script. And then I'm going to delete print hello world as always. And then I'm going to need to make a variable for the insert service. So do local ls to game colon get service insert service, right? Then you're going to want to do script dot parent dot mouse click colon connect function in parentheses put plr, which is short for the player who clicked. Then you're going to want to retrieve the character by doing local character. Is equal to game dot workspace colon find first child player dot name. Then you're gonna want to uh, create the asset or retrieve the asset. I guess you can do local assets is equal to ls load asset. Then you need to put your ID. So you can do script dot parent dot parent dot asset ID dot value. Right. Then you're gonna want to use the four i v in pairs loop. So you're gonna do four i comma v in pairs assets colon get children do v dot parent is equal to character right <clears throat> and it's that simple right so if, if i go ahead and click play and then i click it it'll give me should give me i think i think it's like an iron man how much something like that something i got back like i ain't gonna lie that's like it's like yeah the little iron man i ain't gonna lie i got this in like 2016 like that was a long ass time ago it was like see it yes it was seven years ago yeah it was a long time ago anyway as you guys can see they say make an accessory giver um if you wanted to make it where like you want to give out an accessory but you don't want people to have multiple of the same type of accessory you could use the type of if statement that searches for uh that you know searches to see if the player already has any that accessory but as you guys can see it, it automatically gives you the name so if i wanted to to uh make sure i didn't uh, have an accessory i could just do if uh actually hold on i could just do uh if if not character find first child uh iron man right pretty much something like that just like an if statement that pretty much checks but yeah hope the video was helpful if it was leave a like and subscribe links to my roblox group district can be found in the description and stuff uh, as always the script will be in the description if you guys need it as well hope you Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.